What's up my crypto legends? In this episode, we are taking a look at the Bitcoin price on the daily chart. What if we are confirming this accumulation? We are going to test this area where we're currently at just falling below the $33,000 range. And then we're going to find the last point of support back up to the last point of support again and breaking this resistance from these lower highs from the all time high and from the 60k lower high over here and then breaking the resistance trend line and turning it into support and then back up again meeting all time highs in the next coming months. We're also going to take a look at the price here. I've only seen one person talk about this potential scenario that it is actually mirroring this pattern. Okay, we have the huge run up. We have three peaks over here we have a huge selling climax and the question on everybody's mind was this going to be a redistribution or an accumulation and it does look like that we've found the spring point here and we are going to continue to the upside from now this right here is the s p 500 from 2011 and 2012 we can see a huge run up over here we can see three peaks a capitulation phase and the question was I guess in those times if this is going to be a redistribution or an accumulation we can see from the first climax and then a spring point right over here and from the spring point we came back up and then back to the races. I'm going to show you what pattern this is in this episode so make sure to stay tuned. If you are interested in trading Prime XPT is my favorite day trading platform if you use my link in the description and Bitcoin Census 50 as the promotion code you're getting 50% in addition of what you deposit guys you deposit ten thousand dollars you're getting five thousand dollars on top of that okay I got the link in the description of the tutorial also if you do not know how to trade on Prime XPT and my favorite swing trading platform is Bybit if you use my link in the description you're getting the best bonuses available which is one thousand six hundred and ten dollars massive thank you for my last video guys 318 likes make sure to smash up the like button you'll be helping me out immensely and if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell because i do daily technical analysis on btc and other cryptocurrencies said this let's go straight into the video Hello there, Andy here. Welcome back to another episode of Bitcoin Census. I'm not financial advisor. Don't buy or sell anything that I say. Said this, let's go straight into the chart. And of course, we are going to talk about this potential Wyke of accumulation schematic that it looks like we are playing out. Everybody was talking about this spring point. Now we need to see if the $31,000, $33,000 area in between that area, we are going to consolidate in between these two points and then obviously get the last point of support, which would be above the $35,000 thousand dollar range and then back up to the last point of support before we start pumping where is the last point of support well if you zoom in here on the chart we can clearly see a daily close right over here at this level and another daily close right over here at the automatic rally this range is the forty thousand six hundred dollar area okay so we need to get to the last support here and then break back up the $40,600 range with a nice green daily candle close above this area, okay? Then this would turn into support. And this area can be the last week or the, potentially the second week of July. And this is gonna be where we are gonna consolidate for quite a few days, in my opinion. We are going to be hitting this major resistance and this is gonna be a bump and run scenario that is gonna play out beautifully, in my opinion. We're gonna hit this resistance and we are going to be crashing in between this support level, potentially forming like a descending triangle, okay? It looks like we're gonna fall down and fail and I'm expecting an explosive breakout turning this resistance from the bump and run into support and finally coming back up to meet all time highs by September. This is my analysis. This is what I think is going to happen. Nothing is certain eventually in this market. There is still a huge amount of bears that do think that we are going down to $20,000 area. Now guys, I wanna show you this other potential pattern and this is three peaks and a doomed house. I've seen a YouTuber talk about this. This is Kevin Benson. Shout out to him because this is looking very, very similar to the scenario, but he did not show the S&P 500 chart from 2011 and 2012. And this pattern plays out beautifully right over here. We can see the three peaks here. This was clear 
uh, clear distribution, okay, in 2011, this was in between February and July of 2011 on the S&P 500, you can check it out yourself. We did create this distribution phase, uh, head and shoulder scenario, whatever you wanna call it, before having this massive sell-off capitulation entering this supposed redistribution phase to come lower, but we finally did an accumulation phase making the spring point right over here and then rallying to the upside, as you can see, meeting the all-time highs again. So this is a potential scenario that I'm looking for Bitcoin. As you can see, this is the scenario for Bitcoin. We do have the three peaks right over here, okay? We have the selling um, climax from the 19th of May, and now it does look like that we have created this spring point, okay? Look at the similarities that there is from these three peaks, the selling point, okay, and the accumulation with the spring point before rallying to the upside. There are huge similarities here, and I got the S&P chart right over here, so you can see Okay, this is the S&P, okay, from 2011 and 2012, and you can actually see that there is huge similarities from the three peaks, okay, the sell-off, then the accumulation phase getting a spring point where I do think that we've actually hit, okay, just around about the $28,600, okay, this would be this area, and now we're gonna start rallying from here. Eventually, we will have a massive pump. Everybody's gonna get extremely bullish. We might have a decent correction from there. Then everybody's gonna doubt and then continue to the upside, just like we did with the S&P 500. So if we do make this pattern, we should be hitting the $100,000 dollar range before the end of 2021. Guys, this is what I've got for today's episode, this opinion, these two potential patterns forming the bump and run scenario and the three peaks and the doomed house, okay, potentially forming for Bitcoin. Thank you very much for tuning in, guys. Make sure to smash up the like button and subscribe for daily content, technical analysis on Bitcoin and crypto. And if you haven't checked out the Bitcoin Center's website, guys, there's all sorts here. Check out here this late news. Could Bitcoin price drop below $30,000? We have JP Morgan saying that we could go to $25,000. Remember, when these institutions get bearish, it is time to be bullish, in my opinion, okay? And when they're extremely bullish, it is time to be bearish. Check out the Bitcoin Census website. website. We've got price predictions, exchange reviews, the latest news, and technical analysis. The link is in the description. And if you haven't seen my Bybit or my PrimeXBT tutorial to learn how to trade, there's a video popping up on the screen. Thank you for tuning in, guys, and I will see you tomorrow.